I was encouraged recently by reading in the Hebrew Bible the story of Elisha retrieving an axe that had fallen deep into the water. Elisha prays and the axe head rises to the surface. I had read this story many times, but this time I realized that it could be a story for us too, an invitation to look at other weights in our experience in a similar way. Don't we even talk about challenges in terms of something sitting heavily in our stomach or that we're hitting rock bottom, that a problem is like a lead weight? Christ Jesus encourages us to give more weight to our faith through growth in spiritual understanding. He gives us this counsel. I tell you the truth, if you have faith and don't doubt, he can do things like this and much more. You can even say to this mountain, may you be lifted up and thrown into the sea, and it will happen. Right when we encounter problems that seem unsolvable, like an ax falling into the riverbed, my study of Christian science has taught me that spiritual being, or life, is a progressive development in which good follows after more good. What we can think of as the superpowers of the Christ, God's active healing presence, are at work in our experience. As we pray, mentally affirming this truth and consistently rejecting what doesn't measure up to God's present goodness, mountains do move and axe heads do swim. Marebeke Eddy writes, the human thought must free itself from self-imposed materiality and bondage. So I've come to see that weights are mental and prayer can remove them. So now when I am confronted with a seemingly unsolvable challenge, I prayerfully affirm the axe head can swim. Spirit is real and good and powerful. This fresh and creative way to keep alert and clear has already brought an unexpected solution to a financial challenge I was facing. And now I'm expecting even more.